Welcome back, all you ghost busting dudes and you dads. Toys is here, and I am back yet again to go over all the two reveals from Hasbro PulseCon 2020 for the Ghostbusters panels. There were three different panels. I did appreciate that they did them, but at the same time, I feel like it was just very much quick and glanced over and everything else, unfortunately. However, we'll go through them real fast, talk about my thoughts and everything else on the reveals. We had Bill on design and Pam from marketing. I, I'll tell you what, I really like these two. I think that they had fun with the brand. They didn't, you could, you could tell that they like Ghostbusters. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's always nice to see when people doing the toys actually know what they're kind of talking about. So that was cool. And they were just fun. They were lively. And you can tell that they're just a couple people hanging out and they like Ghostbusters. But Slimer attacked, unfortunately. And then also Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man showed up. You had to use our Neutrona wands, but we were able to neutralize both of those ghosts. Real quickly, they went over the San Diego Comic-Con, former SCCC exclusive Tully's Bad Night or Tully's Night Out or whatever. This, you know, Rick Moranis and, of course, one of the Terror Dogs. The Terror, I wish the Terror Dog had a new head. You know what I mean? It's just the Build-A-Figure. Release Lewis Tully in the actual Plasma series later on, hopefully. Then they also had, this was cool, they had Ernie Hudson come on. Now, it was a bunch of stuff we have heard previously. Lots of stuff that... If you've ever heard Ernie Hudson talk about Ghostbusters, it was fun. It's it's fun to see a Ghostbuster every once in a while talking about Ghostbuster things. So this was actually something I was really looking forward to. They did a whole panel segment on interviewing former Kenner Toys and uh, sculptors, creators, Mark Boudreaux. And then they also had uh, Dave Venemir as well. And it was a little bit... For my taste, I would have liked to have seen them go more into it. There was some cool footage, some toys that they did show off as they're kind of tooling them. I'm wondering if these are maybe coming soon because it looks like they are done. They look like they're new sculpts for old toys, you know what I mean? So perhaps we'll be seeing those shortly. And they did go over so... Mark Boudreau, he was asked, like, what's your favorite Kenner toy that you made back in the day? He talked about the Gooper Ghost, which is great. One of my favorites, the Bug Eye Ghost. And, of course, one of my all-time favorites was Fearsome Flush. If you've never collected any of the old real Ghostbuster toys, I highly recommend them. For me, they're part of my childhood. I just love these things. And they are still sitting on my shelf. Dave Venemir, you know, sculptor for Kenner, he talked about the... Kenner wax formula that, that they would use. They sculpted everything in wax, talking about how it was a great medium to use. It's easy to form and refine, sticking in steel pins. You know, it, it just, it worked to what they were doing for back in the day. They could insert all the mechanisms, make sure everything worked. It was a good material to work with to really show the toys off and to make sure everything worked. And of course, his favorite one that he worked on was the Bug-Eyed Ghost. So again, Bug-Eyed Ghost, they win for fan creator favorite toys. And then of course, they finally got to the next real Ghostbusters vintage toy that is coming back exclusively to Walmart. So Walmart has all these old real Ghostbuster toys, which sold extremely, extremely well. And I'll just let this commercial talk for itself. Ghostbusters! Each sold separately. No! Parts unpack, ready! Ghost poppers loaded! You scared? Never! You first! PKE meter reads a class 3 ghost! It's Stay Puft Marshmallow Man! Roaster! Oh no! Another one! We ain't ghost! Stop em. We ain't afraid of ghosts! Proton pack and ghost popper gun, each sold separately. The real Ghostbusters from Kenner. So yes, we will be getting the ghost popper. Remember that old ghost busting device? Very cool, I had one. I don't have this anymore, unfortunately. So this will be nice to get. I actually got two, one for the little one and one for the shelf. <laughs> that way, you know, they can play with it, yada, yada. But uh, it is cool. It's a bit different color-wise. They did uh, more blue, almost like the original proton pack and such. So... That's actually cool. You keep the old one black. This one is more of the blue, real Ghostbusters color. So I like that they did that. They also really put in, you know, the old tip used to be red. Now it's an orange tip. They do have the foam, almost Nerf type, 
bullets and, and you know that's that's cool and then they will have the stay puff standee and the green ghost standee as well of course slimer but you can see yeah the difference the box is pretty much the same as well i like that they updated the kid they don't have the 80s kid anymore they kept egon they kept stay puff getting tossed right there in the gut but yeah they have a, a more modernized kid playing with a ghost popper so if anything i'm i'm not like Oh my god, great, great idea. It's more like, like, okay, cool. At least they're still doing more. This is good for kids. It gets them back into Ghostbusters for these days, you know what I mean? But, of course, I would have preferred to have seen more toys, right, re-released. But I wouldn't say never just, just yet. Uh, there is a movie coming out, after all. It has been pushed back. A lot of the plans have been changed. So just sit back, relax. I know a lot wasn't shown off. But I got good feelings, we'll just say. And then they brought out more of the Ghostbusters team, Bill and Pam being joined by Sam, Kevin, and James on the Plasma series. And then they had Jason Reitman show up. He took us on a little quick mini tour of the Afterlife Ecto. It's a little bit different, a lot more banged up. You know, it's it's been sitting in a barn as well as a trailer tells us. But we are going to be getting a Ghostbusters Plasma series Ecto-1 from Afterlife. Here's the thing. During the presentation, I kept saying, okay, now put it next to figures. Put it next to figures. All right. That's your first inclination. This is not going to scale with figures. They'd be more than overjoyed. Oh, my God, look how it scales. They fit inside the car. Yada, yada. This is a 1 one eighteenth scale. Okay? So this is not for, let's say, plasma. If anything, it's going to fit more of like 3 and 3 quarter inch figures if that, that is to say, like, everything opens and works and yada yada. We know that the door opens with the gunner chair. I think they were calling it something else. I am excited about that. I think that's really cool. Very real Ghostbusters-ish. So when I saw that in the trailer, I was like, ooh, look at that. But it is cool. It instantly sold out on Target.com. I want one. I will be getting one, trying to get one, whatever. But, uh, yeah, you're going to have to look for it in stores because pre-orders sold out, like, instantaneously, much like the G.I. Joe. Don't want to go there. We all know how that went as well the $50 price point I think is fair uh, I'd like to see more of it unfortunately you know they only have these specific promo pictures I need scaling I need to see it if they're going to do three and three quarter inch figures later down the road very very cool I hope that they do I hope that they do more Ghostbuster toys and I just can't see them not doing more. The, Ghost, the Ghostbusters movies coming out. We know there's Afterlife toys. And we know those were pushed back. There's an Ecto with that as well. That fits those particular figures. They're more like the Kenner 5-inch. But for the movie, it probably is another case of you don't want to... It's, it's the Ghostbusters brand, but you're mixing old with new. So it could be a matter of that. Believe it or not, yes, those are things as well. You can't say these original Ghostbusters fit with the Afterlife, yada, yada. It's just... It's marketing and, and branding and everything else. Just think of it in those terms. I'm cool with it. I would like to get one. To be quite honest with you, I think the panel was fun when certain people were talking. And others, I was like, mm, we need more. I love seeing Ernie Hudson. Love seeing Mark Boudreaux and Dave Venemir. Those were, that was a blast. It was like my favorite part, right? Seeing old style Kenner creators working, talking about all their work. So that, I'd watch that all day. Just do more episodes of that. The Ghost Popper, very cool. Very cool for kids. I'm glad that they're bringing that back. I think that's going to be fun. I'm glad they changed the colors. It's different from the old to the new now. And I want to see more of that. I want to see more Ghostbuster figures. And I think probably around the end of the year, February, hopefully we get a new trailer. We'll start seeing more Ghostbuster toys as well. But again, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Ghostbusters. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, when there's something strange in the neighborhood, who are you going to call? He-Man. I mean, Ghostbusters. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.